Hello there, everybody. Well, as in the last video, I have a slightly different intro. I'm sticking in conjunction with the original intro of this video. Assuming you've seen my two previous videos, you know that I'm under the impression that I have beat the game, which I guess I kind of did in one way, but there's multiple ways to get to an ending in Hollow Knight. Now, particularly in this video, I actually have a final thoughts section towards the end of the video where I kind of talk about what I thought of the game, some thoughts on pros and cons, and just my overall feeling about the game, because again, I thought it was over at this point and I thought about clipping all of that off and not even putting it in the video But I think I want to go ahead and leave it in because it does give a really fun perspective I think of where I am thinking about the game at this point with the knowledge that I have It wasn't until after I'd finished this and talked to some people that I found out that there are multiple endings to this game Which I'm so happy for because I feel like there's so many unresolved questions I have rolling around in my head and I talk about some of those in this video So no worries. This is not the end of my Hollow Knight playthrough it will continue to go on after this until I finally do reach a point where it's all that I want to do with the game. Thanks again so much for your support. I hope you enjoy the video. Hello everyone and welcome back for the next episode in our Hollow Knight playthrough or as I've been calling it beyond Hollow Knight as we're going around kind of doing just some random things now that we've finished the game just stuff I wanted to do. High on that list though is the Coliseum which we finally got to and I'm excited to see what this thing is all about. In the last episode we also found the collector which gave me a map location to all the grubs. So depending on how long it takes up here in the Coliseum or if I just kind of reach my limit on it we might go around and see if we can collect the remaining five grubs in 100% all the grubs. That would be so cool. If by some chance it's your first time finding the channel welcome. Hope you have a fantastic time. If you do have an awesome time it would really help me out if you think about hitting that subscribe button. All right, let's not waste any more time. Let's finally get in here, see what this Coliseum is all about, see if I can dominate it. All right, everybody, welcome back. Oh my goodness, I couldn't stop for the night. We finally made it to Coliseum. I gotta check this out. So we're obviously gonna take that off. We're gonna start with my usual setup like this, which I think is gonna be a good way to start. Uh, also, in case you're curious, I saw as I was logging in, it says I'm at 82% completion. I'm actually impressed by how much I've completed. I've I've accomplished far more in this game getting to this point than I thought I actually would, which is really cool. Is there anything over here that I bought that I don't like the elegant key? Bears marks the hollowness, soul sanctum, and glows faintly in the dark. Like I know I got the flower thing still. The King's brand. Oh, I do want to see if that does do something at that statue at some point. I don't know what it would do. But yeah, I'm just trying to see if there's anything else on here I, I'd like to wrap up before we wrap up our playthrough. Okay, but before we do anything else... Okay. Are we all fools? What happens if I... Uh, how miserable to be stuck here instead of continuing my quest... I came to this kingdom to fulfill a promise, and that is what I will do. All right. You do you. I, I didn't see a way to actually set him free this time. Watch him actually turn out to be something I need to fight. Oh, well, let me in on this side. Inspect. Ooh, Not so fast. That trial is closed to those without the proper experience. Try one of the other ones first. Okay, okay. I'm a little nervous about that one, though. Look at all the spikes coming out of it. Okay, Trail of the Warrior. Fight for Geo and a Charm Notch. Oh, I want the Charm Notch. Place a marker. Yes. Okay, do I go? Can I go in now? <laughs> and the crowd goes wild. Maybe. <laughs> this is crazy. The person on the throne looks dead. <laughs> oh. Okay. Okay, that wasn't so bad. Oh, he lunged. Whoop! Oh, he, sw he swung a bunch. 
Oh, he was right on top of me. Not cool. Get health. Two. There he comes. Uh. Okay. Oh, my health is full. Oh, my goodness. Oh. Woo. Gotcha. Come here. Took you out. Ooh, I can go up here. I'm bouncing. Oh, swung off. Wow, I didn't expect to find so many new type of creatures. Okay, gonna bring two of them now. Oh, he backed up. Gotcha. Now what? Oh, you guys. My favorite. Oh, are there spikes down there now? Ugh, I came up here just to... Oh, boy. Ah! Oh, my goodness. This is nuts. Oh. That took care of you. <laughs> Ugh, eat that. Oh, they're moving. Now they're moving. Can I jump through the floor? I can't jump through the floor. Okay. Oh. Uh, eat that. Oh, I timed it wrong again. Anything below me? Nope. Good to know. Oop. That was close. Oh, boy. We got big boy back. I feel like I just fought you not too long ago. And... Uh, in the butt. The trick is to act like I'm not looking. <laughs> ah! Oh boy, we ain't done. Uh. Oh, we're gonna mix it up now, huh? Stupid bug. Ugh. Who'd have thought those things would be such an annoyance? Oh, not fair. I'll get your throne arm. Not the best. That's all right, though. Got him. Okay. Oh, no room for jumping. Is that what we got going on here? All right. Any more? It's not so bad. Oh, they explode. <laughs> I remember that. Got you. Oh, I got it. I got his buddy with his buddy. Nice. Ooh. I needed one of you for my hunting log. There it is. Ooh. Ooh. It's using your head. Oh. My goodness, these little Colosseum runs are kind of lengthy, aren't they? Oh. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, Ooh! <laughs>
Huh. Fear not. Your death will be swift. I kind of don't want to hurt him. Oh, uh. <laughs> am I supposed to like kill him? I don't think it's giving me any other option. <laughs> okay. Oh, that's sad. Rivalry. Go on, Cure, scurry away. At least I humiliate you further. Look at all them geos. It's like a thousand. And a notch. There's nothing to say. At least I didn't kill him. I was worried I was actually going to kill him. Oh, the notch made that all worth it. Okay, first round. That wasn't too shabby. Okay. Welcome back, warrior. Make a contribution and you can enter the trial of the conqueror. Yep. Oh, boy. Very well, then. A new trial is open to you. I hope your performance is spectacular. Thank you, thank you. Okay. Anything changing here yet? No. That's so weird. Is he out here somewhere? Can I talk to him? Doesn't look like it. Okay, what am I going to do with my extra notch? <laughs> I was wanting it. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Man, I am so used to that extra range. I would take that off. Hmm, hmm, hmm. We're going to try it. I think I'm going to try putting this on. It's either that or I'm tempted to try the uh, the shield. Follows the bear and attempts to protect them. It's just worded so weird. I don't understand how that would work. Oh, uh, let's see. We did have some new things pop up here. We got the sharp boulder, hardened boulder, bred for battle in the Colosseum of Fools. Tougher and more aggressive than its wild ancestor. Okay, shielded fool. Warrior fighting for glory in the Colosseum of Fools. Wearily approaches opponents with shield held high. I gotta get 20 more of these. So I take it I can like, am I gonna fight more of these in each of the waves? Or can I redo the first one? That's what I'm wondering. Sturdy Fool, warrior fighting for the glory in the Colosseum Fools. Uses crescent-shaped blades to cut down foes. And then we got Zote, a self-proclaimed knight of no renown. Wields a nail he carved from shell wood named Life Ender. Some rare creatures are so weak, so helpless, so inept, and so irritating that hunting them gives no pleasure. <laughs> oh, poor Zot. I feel bad for him. I had to see what, after I was just smacking him all over the place, like, okay, I gotta see what happens. And he's like, <laughs> he had some good ups, though. I gotta give him that. It, it pretty good jump. All right. Oh, yeah, I gotta go over here first. All right, let's do it. Okay, my guess is the difficulty value has got to go up quite a bit on this one, right? I was amazed at how much they could change the stage based upon, you know, the different platforms and stuff it could do. That was pretty impressive. I'm back! Oh, oh! Nice try. Oh, I missed my timing on that. Oh, they fly. Ugh. Oh. Oh, he dashed at me just as I went up. 
Oh, he jumped! You chump! Oh. My goodness! Oh no, not stingers! Oh, it took them both out in one hit. Uh, oh, now they're staying. Forcing me to stay in the air with them. You missed. Missed again. Alright. Oh, I thought that was going to finish it. Whoop! Ooh. Got him. <laughs> Back up. Come here. There we go. I reached him. Oh, not you guys again. Those things are so annoying. They know. That's why they keep bringing them out. Guarantee it. No, no. Okay, good. I wasn't sure if that was gonna like start everything over. Oh. Oh, great. Nope. No, I've already used my my flap. Okay. Got a second here. Ooh, there we go. I'm in a good spot now. Woo. Okay, we're back to full health. Oh, he ran off. Oh, what is that? No. Oh. That was terrible. That's what that was. My hoppy friends. Oh no, the big guys are going to be here. Oh, another one. Whoop, jump over you. I'm trying to time it out right where I can maybe get a heal. Woo. I kill one, they send three more. Boom. Oh, back to full health. I think I made the right call putting on the fast recharge. That has made a huge difference for me. Yep, I knew it was only a matter of time. They'll send out more than one too, watch. Oh. Oh, boy. There we go. Oh. What? Okay. Oh, I was trying to bounce off of him. What is that? Okay. <laughs> okay. Are you an evil one? Yep. I was thinking I hadn't seen one of them in a long time. <laughs> oh! Ooh. Oh, boom! Oh, I got him. Oh, you jumped again! Got him. Sit down. Oh, what are you doing? Just make it quick. That's the best thing to do there. Oh, crap. Oh, that was close. Oh. <laughs> 
Slide and swing. Slide and swing. Oh, this is challenging. I can't. I can't get health back. Oh. Oh, come on. That was terrible. Okay. Oh. Oh. Got him. Oh. My goodness. Back off. Uh. Nice try. Oh. I'm still going. Oh, you're new. Ugh. Okay. Not so bad. Whoop. Gotta stay level with you. Oop, not the one I wanted to use, but that'll work. Oh, there's a bunch of them now. Oh. Oh, there we go. Oh, man. Okay. Ooh, that was a good hit. Use my little dash move there. They're pretty proud of these guys. They're using them in all kinds of different ways here, huh? Whoop. Oh, I, I let go just a second too late. That swing is so long. Quit hugging the top. Fine. You want on the top? Stay on the top. See if I care. Big boy! Are you the one that bounces? Oh! Oh no! Oh! I'm focusing one. Oh boy! He didn't like that. Whoop. Ooh, you're going down. Oh, come on. You've got to be about dead. <laughs> Get some health back. There you are. Oh, I saw that one coming. Couldn't move. Is that it? Oh, make a rave with the geos. Oh, yeah. 2,000 geos. And a pale ore. I need one more, though. I only have two. I need three. Wow, I did pretty good there. There's a couple challenging spots on that one for sure. Welcome back, warrior. Make a contribution. Yes, please. This is the one that looks the scariest of them, though. Ugh. Very well, then. A new trial is open to you. I hope your performance is spectacular. He didn't even tell me what the name of that one was. Trial of Fools. Fight for Geo's and the glory of being a fool. Place a marker and begin the trial. Okay. Let's go hit the bench real quick. Not that, uh... I really liked my setup. I was able to get hit back when something would hit me. I got a pretty steady, uh, <laughs> pretty steady flow of soul because I was getting hit. And then the faster... Focus ability was fantastic. 
I think we're gonna try to let it ride. Oh boy. What am I in store for on this one though? I feel like these three are on display and that like maybe a fourth one drops down or something after I've after I beat this one. Assuming I can beat this one. I notice this one has like oh whoop. This one has like three little bronze things on it. That has three little bronze things. This has six. Oh. Look at that. I could do it again. Okay. Oh, that reminds me. Let's check the journal for the new stuff we found. We got the armored squirt. Squit. Hardened squit bred for battle in the Coliseum of Fools. Tougher and more aggressive than its wild ancestors. The battle obble. Raised in the Coliseum, although trained for combat, its movements and attacks are still haphazard. The uh, ob Oblobble, <laughs> larger cousin of the Obble, pairs with a mate for life and will never leave its side. Aww. We got the Winged Fool, warrior fighting for glory in the Coliseum of Fools, flies just out of an opponent's reach, then darts in for the kill. The Heavy Fool, warrior fighter for glory in the Coliseum of Fools, aggressively charges down fools. Okay, and I think... Oh, I never did read this one. Okay, let's check this real quick. A Hollow Knight, fully grown vessel, carrying the plague's heart within its body. The old king of Hollow Nest, he must have been desperate to save his crumbling little world. The sacrifices he imposed on others, all for nothing. So that's the former king? Wow, that's crazy. Uh, Hornet, I have seen this nimble little creature. I thought her prey and pounced at her, but with a flash, she stabbed me with her flying stinger and darted away. Could she be a hunter? Yeah, she's my girlfriend. She, uh, she plays hard to get. We sometimes have little battles of our own, but uh, she into me. Okay, was there anything? I feel like there was something Okay, I need to defeat one more of those. Was there anything that I unlocked? Because I, I fought it here. I thought there was something I fought. I guess not. Okay. Let's do this. Oh. I guess... Oh! My bad. I forgot. I gotta... I gotta pay the piper. Or place my marker, I guess, is what I'm doing there. Okay, what are we in store for here? This is the one that definitely has me the most nervous. Yay! They're excited to see me. Oh man, I was thinking I might be able to finish it off before he got there. Oh! Oh, I didn't move in time. Oh, great. It still hit me. These things are so annoying. Oh, third swing. Nice move. Oh, I missed. Didn't miss that time. Oh, you guys came up quick. I need me some safety on the ground. Gotta take these guys out. I should have known. Oh, it killed both of them. The crowd's laughing. <laughs> Look, I can't even see it. It's up so high. Okay. Oh. Okay. I prefer the ones that shoot at an angle, I think. And they leave out the middle. He's trying to get low enough to get an angle on me. Nice try. Oh, boy, you didn't waste any time. Is there one on that side, too? I think there's one over there. I'm going to heal up first. Yep. 
That's what I thought. Oh boy. Oh. oh, one finally got me. My goodness. What are you? There's a bunch of you. Oh, I think I recognize you. You're a little different, but. Oh, he didn't bounce the direction I was hoping. Okay. Ba boom. There they are. That's the way I'm used to seeing them. Oh. Oh, come on. All right, we can get these back real quick. Whoop, wrong move. He's like, I'm going to get a hit on him. He's determined. Look at that. It's like he's dancing around me. Come on, dude. Got him. Sometimes I like to try to spam one or rush one real fast because it lightens the field real quick. Oh. You hit a wall. Uh. Huh. Hey. Ooh, uh. Oh no! What in the world is this? Those better not be going the same time. As like... <laughs> uh. There we go. Alright, give me my health back, quick. Oh. Get rid of you. Oh, here we got some praying mantis I can kill. Hopefully. Oh, crap. <laughs> These guys are tearing me up. Oh, I couldn't even take off fast enough. Oh, that's close. Oh, come on. Nope. No, they brought out more. No, no, no. Oh. Oh. Oh, come on. Come on. Oh. That was close. Go down. Oh, man. Oh, I thought I was going to lose it right there. That was so close. Oh, no, not two of you. Oh. Oh. I can't charge attack on these guys. Oh, crap. So I take care of one of them at least. Oh, and I got no soul to try to get back health. Okay, thank you. Any more, you guys? I, I'll, I'll gladly take some of you guys. Oh, I needed you. Oh. Okay, I kind of like this little rhythm when... Oh, no! You didn't come up where you're supposed to. Oh, I got one health. Oh! Oh, come on, give me health back, please. Oh, no! No, what are you? No. Oh. Crap. Oh, 
Oh, I'm in trouble. Oh, crap. Oh. Oh. No. What's going on? I can't land anywhere. I'm so tense right now. No. Oh, come on. Help. No. No way. Oh. Oh boy. Oh. Oh no. Oh, these little guys? Okay. That's that's not horrible. Just let me get my health back a little bit before you bring up spikes. Crap. Oh. My goodness. This is so unfair. Oh. Oh, I jumped right under him. Oh. Oh, what is this? What? What is going on? No, I went too early. Oh, oh no way. Oh. Oh. Not fair. Gotcha. Gotcha. Oh, not you. Ah. Oh. No. No. No! No way! I was doing so good! Those... Those bugs that shoot the three are the biggest pain in the whole Coliseum. And they're coming out constantly. I gotta start all the way over on that fight, don't I? I thought I was going to pull it off. I had to have made it a good ways into that. Oh, so this is where I go to get you back. Oh, I can't believe I lost that fight. Where they get me for sure is when I'm stuck on the wall with a bunch of flying stuff. Especially the spitting things. And I can't think of any charm that's going to, like, really help me with that outside of this one here. Because that really does help with that. Oh, I got to start that all the way over. I had so many close calls. I'm trying to decide if I want to try that again or... it's that, if, if I didn't have to start all the way at the beginning... Oh, okay, I'll try it one more time. I almost would have rather I got killed right at the beginning of that thing, so I didn't... <laughs> I didn't have to start all the way over. It's such a long fight. Non-stop fight. Oh, okay. Let's do this.
Okay, come here. Okay. There they are. <laughs> Who would have thought you'd be the biggest pain in this whole coliseum? Such a tiny little bug. All right, let's get this back while I can. Like last time, going for ground ground assault first. Oh, I didn't realize you were still alive. There we go. Oh, he dropped right, right out on me. Oh, I got double hits on me still. Oh, come on. I can't see. There we go. Even those guys, like I said, they're not as bad as the ones that shoot straight out. Oh, come on. I was even ready for you that time. Okay, let's get my health back before I go to the other side. Oh, okay. Oh yeah, I forgot about these. Oh, they caught me on that one. All right, these guys weren't so bad. Ooh, I say as they start to kick my butt. Huh. Whoop. Huh. Whoop. I was expecting the, the spitting bugs. That's why I was trying to get ready for that. Ugh. Die, suckers. Gotcha. Woo! That's a close call. Boom. Oh, I got all three of them with that one swing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Crisscross. All right. I went straight for that guy. And that one. Oh, there's a third. Dang it. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, that is just crazy. The fact that they do that. Oh, that was a close call. Oh! Oh, came back for another hit. Let's get some health back. Can I swing down? I can. Might as well take advantage of it. Because you know they would. Took him out first. Oh no. I forgot about you guys. Crap. Oh. Oh boy. No, I swung the wrong way. All right, I'm swinging up. All right, you get over here. I'm going over there to get my life back. <laughs> I'm being strategic. Oh, there we go. Yep, that's what I was expecting. Oh, here we go. Got him. 
I know I got the uh, the soul characters that'll be coming out here soon. Oh, I thought I could get it. Oh. Okay. Oh, here they are. Oh, took one out quick, thankfully. There we go. All right. I see you. Oh. Oh, that was close. Ooh, nice move. Whoop. Oh, man. Oh. Oh. Gotcha. Oh yeah, here we go. We got the electricity guys. Oh. Can't reach me through there. Oh, you got up and over at that time. No. Oh. Got him. Uh. Uh. Come on. Uh, electric guy. Oh. Okay. Oh, come on. Oh, you moved just in time. Oh, that was close. I don't think so. No. Just a time, so many times. Oh, bad landing spot there. Oh, I didn't get to fill my health up. Crap. Oh, oh this is stupid. Oh, I'm down to my last health. Oh, that was close. Nope, I don't think so. Oh. Okay, we're getting close to this. We're getting close to that point. Ah! Oh. Too bad I can't get back health while I'm up here. Where's he at? Oh, he rushed me. Oh, I'm in trouble now. Uh, how about this? Oh, they're on the other side. Oh. No, it covered the whole side of the map. That was close. Oh, I had to just rush him. Okay. Oh. Come on. No. <laughs> Every hit matters right now so much. Ok. 
Okay. Got it. Oh, cheap shot, dude. What am I supposed to do about that? Or this? Oh! I can't do it. I can't do it. Not tonight. That's... <sighs> the fight is so stinking long. There's no break. There's no halfway point. And where it ends is you have to spend all that time on the wall. I did better. I was, I was killing them off. I just don't want to have to go through the 15 minutes of fighting to get to that point in the match. Man, I don't know how close I am to the end of that, but there's no way I'm going to go back and do a third round of that in this episode. Because that is not fun. For me, some people may like that sort of thing, but me, I don't, I struggle anytime I play a game where I feel like I've wasted time and in this, I feel like I've wasted time because the match is so long that when you die, you have to start all the way over. There is no shortcut. There's no way to jump back to where you left off. There's no, um, there's no way to speed it up. You start at the beginning and you have to keep going. And there's some people that love that sort of thing. I am not one of those guys. I don't mind a challenging fight against a single character or a group of characters that is one battle. And you just have to learn that one battle. But this one where you've got to get literally through the entire thing without dying. I could do it. I don't mind trying multiple times to maybe to get it, but to record it all and edit it all and everything. I was like, I don't know. I can't. That was fun. Up until that point. Whee! Okay. Whew, I tell you what though, my goodness. Let's go ahead and drop this here. So that if I decide I wanna come back and try that again, Ain't gonna be any time in a, It ain't gonna be tonight. Let me put it that way. I've had a lot of intense battles tonight. Putting up with that for our third round, I don't think I could handle it. Hmm. Well, we don't have any grubs near us. So I've got three basically down in deep nest. How in the world do you get to this one right here? There's like, there's no openings shown anywhere through here. Okay. But I got three in Deep Nest and I got two in Crystal Peak. There's no there's no stag or anything to get to Crystal Peak quickly. I guess I go to Dirt Mouth and I get up there that way. Boy. That's exhausting. <laughs> <laughs> it really is. I mean, it's not bad. It is fun, and the challenge is nice. Uh, but it it wears you out. <laughs> All right, let's see if there's anything else to hear. Can I open? Oh, I don't have my compass on, so I can't tell where I'm at. Let's slide. I'm worried I'm gonna land on a... Oh! Looks like there's some kind of a ledge. Over here. Oh. That was a lot less exciting than I was hoping for. Okay, so city is up that way. Where am I at? I just down that... Okay, let's drop down and get to that bench. Swap out our... 
Oh, I got it called up. Swap out our um, charms. There we go. Keep going down, please. And then uh, let's go see what happens if I turn in that king seal thing. I want to see what happens if I... Well, I say turn it in, but... Uh, I want to see what happens if I just put it in that statue that's down there. Across that bridge. Hopefully something happens. I don't know if it will or not, but I'm kind of hoping it will. Whoa! <laughs> I'm not even, like, looking off ledges anymore. I'm just, like, just walking right through these guys. Oh, boy. I have played a lot of Hollow Knight tonight. Ended up beating the game. Was not expecting to do that, but that is, uh, this is the same night that that happened. Okay, so we're going to pull you off. We're going to put on both of you. Hey, at least I'm up one notch from what I used to be. I guess I could put... No, that's two. I thought I had another one that was only one that I was thinking about trying to run around with. I got so many geos and nowhere to spend it. Uh, I guess we can put that on. Say it. Oh boy, that does swing faster. Much faster. Okay, now where is that statue? Right here, I think. Wow, there's no quick way to get there. I guess... Wow, there's no stags that are that because this one right here would be not wouldn't be too bad except for the fact it's all infected now. I'd have to go down and around, but it might be my best option. No, 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 Queen Station. Queen Station's not too bad. Let's go Queen Station. All right, stag. Our journey may be coming to a close, buddy. You can go out there and look for your family here real soon. In fact, what I might do is this video, I might give kind of my final thoughts on the game since I didn't really, I didn't really give my final thoughts on the episode, which I think would be two ago now where I beat the game because I wasn't expecting to beat the game yet. But um, I kind of feel like if this is going to be the last episode, there might end up being one more. We'll see. But if this turns out to be the last episode, I want to make sure I can give my final thoughts on what I thought of the game and all that kind of stuff, which is what I normally do. So we'll plan on doing that at the end of this episode. Okay, ooh. Oh boy. Uh, is this really the best way? No, that's not the best way out of here. <laughs> I was like, what is going on? That is terrible. I might do some playing on this just on my own, just for fun. This is, this is one of the first games where I think 100%ing it would be kind of fun. But I don't know, the episodes are going to get really repetitive, especially if I have to sit and grind on some things and... What are you? Worm pulls bugs into their thrall till ages pass and kingdoms fall. Caps and shells may fall to dust, but Mr. Mushroom readjusts. I don't want to swing at it, like with my sword sword. I'm worried I would kill it. I don't want to do that. Okay, we need to go down and over to the right. Uh, yeah, I got to start figuring out what my poll's going to be for the next game to play on the channel. This has been a big one. We have been playing this one for a while. I don't remember when I started it. But I remember when I started playing it, I couldn't get myself to stop playing it. I was having so much fun. And uh, so I, I definitely worked my way through the game faster than I would have expected to. All right. Uh, yeah, we're just about there. This wasn't too bad at all. I know there was still one more thing that required a simple key, but I, I never found another simple key. Ba-boom! That was still an awesome moment when we found that. 
Hey, how do I give you my... Hmm. I thought she gave me something that was called... Here it is. Marks the bear as king. Hollow nest ancient places shall open it. Shall open before it. I thought for sure. Oh, that's just another way to City of Tears. I wonder if I have to come in from the other side. Oh, I thought for sure this was something I had to interact with. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, well, if we're going to discuss final thoughts, I want to go to my favorite place in the whole game, and that was Queen's Garden. The atmosphere and the music and everything over there is what really sold me on that place. I ain't got no stags nearby to get me there, though. I guess we're running back to Queen's Garden. Rocket style! Yeah, when we found this ability here, that was still one of the coolest moments in the game. Never played a game where I get to be a rocket. As a form of travel. Oop, I think, uh... Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Don't be so funny. No pulling jokes. We, we got a mission we're trying to accomplish. Uh, let's go up. It is amazing, too. It's like, as I even as I'm like backtracking through some of these places, it's like I'm traversing through memories, you know? It's like, oh, yeah, I remember when I found this for the first time. Oh, I remember when that was a big challenge for me. And What a game. I can see why so many people think and speak so highly of it. It's one of those rare finds, kind of like a Subnautica. Just one of those games that once you've played it, sticks with you, you know? Okay. Queen's Garden, please. Looking forward to hearing the music already. Let's hear it. Step out here. There it is. So beautiful. All right, so my final thoughts on Hollow Knight. First of all, absolutely fantastic game. The way that it... <sighs> this game does a great job of allowing so many different routes to progress through it. And it's almost like if you're skilled enough, you can even get to some places that... Typically, you wouldn't get to without a particular ability or something yet. But even if you do get to that location, it doesn't mess up the flow of the game. It doesn't penalize you. It's not like you're instantly killed on that side because you're not strong enough. You know, it, it doesn't have any of those types of things. Exploration is the name of the game here. And depending on your skill depends on where and how quickly you can get to certain places and just random luck. You know, if you go left instead of right, maybe you find the map, maybe you find a charm and you get completely lost and later you come back and you find the route that leads you to the piece that you missed. Oh, it was such an amazing game. And every time I got a new ability, it just made you want to go back and explore places you'd even already been before. It was super awesome. From a story standpoint, my guess is there's probably videos out there that have been created by people where they've really delved into all the information that, that has been presented through, uh, you know, the dream side of things and from creatures that you encounter at different stages. You know, sometimes you get information from them. Sometimes the infections mess them up and they're not there anymore. And they probably put together a very cohesive lore type video. Me is more of a casual playthrough. Uh, the story is fairly straightforward, I think, until I get to what is the point of my character. My little, my little 
character here, I, I assumed his name was Hollow Knight because that's the name of the game. But the character we fight at the end, his name was Hollow Knight. So what's my character's name? And we look nothing alike. So it's not like I'm a ghost version of the character that we found sealed inside of there. At least I, I wouldn't think so. But I, I guess the only, the, the biggest thing about the story is I don't understand why my character was doing what he was doing. We were called Little Ghost by Hornet. Uh, we, we were talked to by the, the sleeping seals, the, the three characters that were like sealing that egg. You know, they, they were like, we've come back from the grave or something like that. We're a ghost. Um, you know, why are we doing what we're doing? And I feel like I never really got an answer to that. And then in the end, when we beat Hollow Knight, it looks like we absorbed all the infection and became the new chained up vessel. And like I mentioned in the video where I did beat it, I don't know if that means that like the cycle starts again, or does my character have some ability to hold the infection unlike the Hollow Knight King did? Does that make sense? I mean, that's where I'm kind of confused. I, I don't know why my character's doing what he's doing. I don't know what really happened from a, a whole hollow nest standpoint there at the end. Yeah, we, we absorbed the infection. I'm assuming we absorbed the, the infection from like all a hollow nest. Maybe we set free all the bugs. Maybe the crossroads are back to normal. And now that we're caged in there, holding the infection in there, I don't know. I assume that, but I don't know. I almost wish there was something after that moment, like the credits play, and then at the very end, uh, you, uh, I don't know, maybe you go back and you get to interact with, or not you as your character, but maybe uh, the game itself just goes back to Elderbug, and Elderbug gives a little narration about, well, I haven't seen the little creature, the little critter in a long time, but the place is sure back to normal and, and whatever it is he did, I really appreciate it. You know, something that kind of gives some closure, you know, so that we know what happened at the very end. Again, maybe there's some videos out there that really do explain that. And uh, I'm sure you guys will let me know in the comment section information about the story or maybe even share videos with me that would be good to watch to kind of learn more about that. So from a story standpoint, me personally, I don't find it as a very strong story. So like if the game, if I gave the game like a, a nine out of 10, the story I would give maybe a six, maybe a five. It's not that it's a bad story. It's just, I feel like the story is not a big piece of things. And I feel like I've got a ton of questions. Um, I don't know. But I love the game, absolutely, absolutely loved it. And your guys' feedback and encouragement, and tips and tricks along the way, that's been really fun. And, and it's been neat, neat hearing uh, your guys' comments and thoughts on how I've done battles, where I've gone, and how you got there versus how I got there. That was a really fun, it, it's almost like it's a very community friendly game. It's the kind of game that a bunch of people can play and then they all talk about it afterwards. Uh, I don't know if anybody plays Euchre, but, you know, you play your round of Euchre, doesn't last very long, but then everybody talks about what they could have done, should have done, did do, what I had, what I put down after the match before you start the next round of Euchre. It's like you almost spend more time talking about the match that just ended than you did actually playing the game. And I kind of feel like that's the way this is. Uh, you play the game and it's fantastic, but afterwards, it's all the communication and the talking with the community and the other people who have experienced it that makes the game so special. Does that make sense? Absolutely loved it. I'm also now going to watch some other playthroughs of this and just see some other people unravel it and how they overcome some of the challenges. What did I struggle with that they didn't have any trouble with? What did they struggle with that I had no trouble with? You know, it's, it's kind of amazing to see how that can play out. So as far as I'm concerned, I am probably even going to label this as the end for my Hollow Knight playthrough. Now, once this video goes live, if a bunch of people say that you would like to see me do X, Y, or Z still, maybe it's go check on a celestial fight, maybe it's go take another round at the God Home place, check some of that out. Uh, if I get a lot of feedback that you guys would like to see a particular thing, uh, let me know in the comments. 
And maybe I can plan like a bonus video uh, to add to the series later where I can come back and try to do some of those odds and end things. Like I said, on my own, I might run around and find the rest of the grubs just because that'd be a fun thing to finish. And I'd like to see what Father Grub does if I bring him back all that stuff. Um, and I might, might take another crack at that Coliseum without trying to record and all that kind of stuff where I can just focus on the game, not have to talk or anything. And maybe I can get my way through that just to see what happens on the other side of that as well. I absolutely love the game. Not sure exactly what's coming up next on the channel just yet. I'm a long ways off from running a poll, but when it does, I'm sure it's going to be good because it's going to come as a recommendation and a vote from you all. If by some chance you had an awesome time on this playthrough and you haven't already, it sure would help me out if you think about hitting that subscribe button. That way you're alerted to whatever might come next on the channel. Until next time, continue to be safe out there, everybody. I'll see you on the next one.